Oh guys, this is the second attempt of recording this video. I've just done it, it took me about 15 minutes and I forgot to hit record on the camera. So now I've got to do it all again. So if I'm not full of energy, I apologize, but I'm gonna do my best anyway. And hopefully this way, uh, try and get the video down a little bit shorter because I did waffle a little bit. So in this video, we're gonna waffle a little bit less. So I've had a few people say to me, um, I would sell on eBay, but the fees are so high and the shipping, I can't see how I can make any money. Uh, so in this video, I wanna address that and show you why eBay is possibly the best platform to start on for a beginner uh, and what you can do to actually sell your stuff at a profit. Well, to sell your stuff at a profit, I've done a video on that before. So if you click back a couple of videos, you'll see that, how to price your e eBay items. I'm gonna put a link to that video up here. If I remember, I might forget. Um, Basically, you've got, you got to offer more value than the competition. You know, better photos, better description, better keywords, offer free shipping. And if you do all of that, and there's more stuff like that as well that you can do, I'm not going to go into it all here, uh, then you can sell at a higher price than all of your competition. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, you don't know about me, uh, you don't know why you should be listening to me, uh, I've made over a million dollars worth of sales on eBay right now. So we have a quick look in here in my eBay dashboard. So this here is actually my old eBay store. The trouble I did here is I shared with people what I sell. I showed people, I was open what store I had, I showed people all the products that I sell. What happened was that everybody copied and if everybody copies your exact same listings, the same photos, the same descriptions, the same everything, you know, basically I put in all the hard work to find the products, everybody just copied and it killed the shop. Uh, so I don't use this store anymore now. Um, I'll just use it for like demo purposes for like this video, stuff like that. And I've got a new eBay store. Uh, but anyway, if we look at this eBay store here, um, I've made £760,000. And if we convert that into dollars, uh, we're nearly a million dollars. And that's just this, uh, this early eBay store here. Uh, I've also got a eBay program where I teach people all of my secrets. Uh, so, you know, I've got hundreds of people in on this program now. And many of those people are making multiple thousands every single month. Uh, so, you know, I've been doing eBay for a few years now. I've made some money. I've taught other people how to do it. I've got many of my students making money. So, you know, I've got half an idea of what this eBay game is all about. I've also tried selling on other platforms. And from my experiences, by far the easiest and by far the, the best results early on comes from eBay. And this is not just from my experience. This is from experience from some of my students, from some of my friends that sell on eBay, you know, from the research that I've done from over the time. Uh, this is the results that I've kind of come to. Uh, so fees, let's talk about fees first. So let's delete all this lot out. This is all still in here from the first video. Very well prepared we are. So I'm in the UK, so I sell on eBay UK. Uh, you guys in America, you can click on a different link here, whichever one you're from. Uh, so, you know, me being UK, I'll talk about pounds. So, you know, if, if you're American, just pretend I'm talking dollars, you know, it's, the same, it's exactly the same principle. Uh, so UK here. Uh, so one of the best selling items that I used to have on my old eBay store were these pull starters for RC cars. But you know, as I did, I shared it, everybody started doing it, and then everybody started competing on price, and it wasn't a thing anymore. Uh, but anyway, I used to sell these for around about £15. So we type in there 15 uh, And then shipping charges, I, it was zero, I've done free shipping. Item cost, these cost me around about £3. And uh, shipping cost, what it cost me to ship it was around about one pound. Tiny little bit more, because you know, obviously we've got to pay for the mail bag and the, um, are we recording? Uh, yeah, we are recording this time, just double checking. Obviously you've got to pay for the mail bag and you've got to pay for the label on there and all of that stuff. But we're going to put a pound in there just to round it off. Uh, so if you're going to be doing eBay as a business, you're going to be business registered. Super simple process guys, nothing to worry about at all. It's really easy. Uh, eBay shop, so I would assume that if you're going to start selling on eBay to make money, you're going to have at least a basic shop. Uh, you, you're not going to be a top rated seller when you first start out. You know, once you start selling more stuff and you behave yourself on the platform, uh, then you're going to get top rater status and eBay fees get a little bit cheaper. Not by much, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, payment method, PayPal, overseas, no. I mean, I do sometimes ship overseas. Uh, but you don't get that many sales overseas and they're a bit of a nuisance sometimes. So 
I do do overseas sales, but for the, the you know, just for this example, I'm going to put on there, no. VAT registered. Yes, I am VAT registered. If you're not VAT registered, you're going to make it a little bit more money. But here in the UK, if you make over a certain amount, I think the threshold now is like 80 grand a year or something, you have to be VAT registered. Uh, so, you know, for when you're first starting out, you don't want to be VAT registered because you make more money when you're not registered. Uh, but, you know, it's a legal requirement. You know, once you once you make over a certain amount of money, uh, you have to become registered. Uh, in the States, you haven't got VAT, obviously, but you've got sales tax. So uh, if you go over to your one here, you'll have all that in there. Uh, item category, toys and games. You guys in America, that would be toys and hobbies. you got it slightly different on your eBay store. Uh, so now we've done all that, and it comes up here with all the fees and the profits and everything like that. So as we can see, uh, total profit, £7.36. Uh, and seeing that this item only cost us £3, that's a good profit. We, we're more than doubling our money which is good. Now, if we had, if we was top rated seller, so yes, we make a tiny little bit more money because the eBay fees come down ever so slightly. So um, so that's that's roughly the fees that you can expect to sell on eBay. You might be thinking, oh man, it's like £1.46 on eBay fees and 60, 73p on PayPal fees. Oh man, that's eating into my profits. Yes, it is. But here's the thing, any company that you have, no matter what business you have, you're going to have operating costs. And the operating costs here are much, much cheaper than anything else out there that I've seen anyway. So, for example, if we look at Amazon, for example, uh, if you sell on Amazon, you've got 20% Amazon FBA fees. I mean, just normal Amazon fees. You've got another 15% FBA shipping fees. You've got inventory storage fees. Uh, you've got inbound shipping fees. I mean, what you got left after Amazon fees, it's, it's way, way, way more expensive. I mean, yes, FBA, I'm not going to go into it in this video, but basically you ship your items to the Amazon warehouse and then they ship the item to the customers. Yes, that sounds great, but it's a lot more expensive and you kind of have to do it on Amazon that way. If you ship out the stuff yourself, uh, then you're not going to get the prime badge and then you're not going to make any sales barely. Uh, so Amazon, much, much more ex expensive. So let's get rid of that. Um, next, you could have a Shopify store. So Shopify store, you've got to pay for the store. Same on eBay, you've got to pay for the store. No big deal. Uh, and we have a 2.2% card fees, which is eh, a little bit cheaper than PayPal. Uh, and then we've also got an additional, additional platform fee of 2%. And obviously these fees come down as we get the bigger store. So yes, Shopify is a little bit cheaper than eBay, but you have to do your own marketing. Uh, if you don't know what Shopify is, it's basically a platform where you can build your own website and you host your website on the actual Shopify platform. And it's pretty much, if you can use eBay, you can use Shopify, it's easy to use. Uh, but you've got to pay these fees here and you've still got to market that website. You've got to get traffic to your website. You've got to get people to find it. And you know, if you've got a new website, people are not going to find it. And if they do find it, they're not, they're not going to trust it. You know, when we go into onto eBay, People trust the eBay system. People already have the credit card details stored on eBay and on, and on Amazon. Uh, so to buy something on Amazon is super, super easy. You just click on buy now, boom, that's it. And people trust eBay. As long as you've got like a you know, like 98, 99% feedback uh, and, and then you've been getting a little bit of sales on there, people are going to trust you. And eBay are going to refund the buyer if you do. Uh, if you know, if you try and scam the buyers, and eBay are going to refund them. So there is trust in the platform. If you now have your own website, www.yourname, and you've got your products on there, why would anybody trust you? It takes years to build up a rep reputation. And you know, as I said before, people are probably not even going to find you. We're going to talk about people finding you in a little bit. So next, you could build your own website. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's going to be really expensive. So, you know, I've, I've looked into having a website built uh, before for myself, for my eBay products, and I kind of backed out of it because the price of it was like, nah, um, I don't know. So, you know, this is roughly the cost that you can expect if you're going to be hosting on a software like on Shopify. But if you want your own e-commerce store built, custom-made e-commerce store, you can be looking at anything from like, $12,000 upwards, you know, can go into multiple millions. Uh, you know, there's a website here that says how much does it cost to build an e-commerce store. They reckon anything from a thousand uh, to a million or even higher. 
So I was quoted, it was over 10 grand, and that was just for the basic store, not even populated, just the basic store was over 10 grand. So um, I kind of bottled out, I didn't, didn't do it in the end, maybe one day I will. Uh, at the moment, I'm just happy with eBay, it's, it's bringing in the results. Now you could build your own e-commerce store, you're gonna have to learn how to do it. And you know, you've got places like OpenCart where you can build your own store, it's gonna be free, you're still gonna have to pay for the web hosting, you're still gonna have to pay for the domain name. Uh, if, it's, if the website gets hacked, it's all on you. Uh, you've got all these other laws and leg leg legislations, uh, can't talk properly, that you've got to abide by that when you sell on eBay, they've taken care of it for you. Uh, all the legals are pretty much taken care for you on eBay. And um, yeah, so you've got to learn how to build a website. And yes, of course you can learn to build it yourself, but I would much rather spend all the time it takes into trying to learn to build a website to sell on eBay make the money on eBay and then pay somebody else to pay the web, uh, to build the website for us. That would be a, a lot easier and a lot smarter way of doing it. Of course you could do it yourself, but you know what they say, a jack of all trades, master of, of none. If you want to specialize in being a good salesman and selling products, then concentrate on doing that. If you're trying to learn how to build a website and you're trying to learn how to make good photos, you're trying to learn how to make compelling listings, uh, then you've got to try and build trust and then you've got to try and advertise as too much for one person to manage. eBay takes care of all of, the, all of that stuff pretty much for us. Uh, so next, if we've got our own website, we have to pay to advertise, and this is where it can cost crazy, crazy amounts of money. So look here, they say 2014, market has spent $137 billion just on internet marketing. It's a lot of money in this game. A lot, a lot, a lot of money. So if you're, I don't know, say for example, you want to make 100 grand, it could well cost you 50 grand in advertising to make that money. And eBay fees are gonna be so much less than that, like way, 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 way below that. And you haven't even got to pay it up front. You know, when we go on eBay, and we've got our eBay fees, we pay the fees as the items sell. You haven't got massive, great big upfront costs. You know, you might have a $20, $30 store that you've got to pay every month. Uh, but other than that, you only really pay for the stuff when it sells. So you're not going to be lumbered with like a big 10 grand bill right off the bat. You haven't got to worry about all these things you've got to set up. So, you know, hopefully now you can kind of see like the value in eBay and how like, yes, you got fees, but the fees compared to other stuff is like minimalistic. Uh, then of course you could have a YouTube channel. You know, you've got people like Logan Paul sells his merch. You've got Kylie Jenner does Instagram selling her makeup and they've got their own e-commerce stores and they market themselves throughout their social media. And yes, you can do that, but building a social media presence is a full-time job in itself. On my other channel, uh, I've got just over half a million subscribers now. That took me over four years now to get there. And I'll do many 12 to 16 hour days. And in the past, recently I haven't been, but in the past I've been uploading every single day. And every single day spending 12 to 16 hours a day. And it took me a couple of years to even make a profit. The amount of money it cost me to grow that channel, um, the amount of money I put into it, it took me a couple of years to make any of that back. Cameras, editing computer, um, all the stuff on the channel, the stuff I was destroying, uh, all the, you know, just, just running the channel was expensive. So yes, it's paid off now, but it's, it's, it's gonna require a lot of work and a lot of effort up front to, to maybe get somewhere where you can now uh, get some of your viewers to go over to your um, website. So lastly, I just wanna have a look at if you want maybe a physical retail store. So I've chosen Stevenage here in the UK. You know, it's probably like a mediocre kind of price. Uh, London, crazy expensive. We've got other places that are a lot cheaper. So Stevenage is probably somewhere in the middle. So we've got a shop here, 25 grand a year, uh, 80 grand a year. Uh, small shop here, eight, 800 square foot, 45,000 pounds a year. Uh, tiny little shop here, 237 square foot, 10,000 pounds a year. And you've got to pay an upfront to get in there. Yes, you've not got to pay it in one go, but you've probably got to pay a good percentage upfront for the deposit. You've got to pay that every month. You've got legal fees. You've got solicitor fees. Uh, you've got to fit the shop out. You've got to put shop fittings in there. You've got to have all the insurance, uh, public liability insurance when people come in. You've got to employ people unless you're going to run it yourself. The cost of doing this is going to be so much more. And plus, you're only dealing with local people. When you're on eBay, you're dealing with the whole entire world, or at least like the whole of the UK or the whole of America or you know, whatever country you're from, and of course you can sell to the whole entire world. So you're gonna get a much bigger audience. 
So for some of you guys that follow my channel, uh, you will know that I used to have a physical store in this room here. And I used to have a counter across here, cash register there and everything. But let me tell you, the amount of money I made in here was nothing compared to what I made on eBay. I mean, this was so not worth doing. I actually closed the shop. I took all the counter away. I didn't bother with it anymore. And then I, I just made so, so, so much more money by selling the exact same stuff on eBay. Now, the last thing I want to touch on when people complain about these fees is that everybody's got to pay the same. I mean, if you look on eBay now, there's more millionaires, eBay, self-made eBay millionaires now than there ever have been in history. And, um, it, you know, the eBay platform just keeps growing and growing and growing. More and more people keep going onto the eBay platform. And the amount of money that you can make now on eBay is just getting more and more and more and more. And the thing is, all the sellers on there all have got to pay the same fees. You've all got to pay the same shipping. You've all got to pay the same postage. You've all got to pay the same eBay fees. You're not at any disadvantage. So the way that you gain an advantage on eBay is to build better listings and offer better value, put better keywords uh, in your title so you get so you get the better search results. You gotta do the strategies you do to get ranked, to come up at the top of the search results. You gotta do better photos, offer free, uh, free shipping, offer returns. I mean, there's 11 of these things that you have to get right that I've found. I've spent 50 grand of my own money figuring this stuff out and a couple of years of testing and testing and testing and testing to see what works and see what doesn't work. And I've come out with 11 things that you have to do, easy step-by-step -step guide, uh, that you have to do to make these listings sell, like give them the best chance of selling and to make more money than your competition so you can sell your products at a higher price than your competition. And then those little eBay fees, they're just nothing. Especially when you compare them to the other platforms out there, they really are nothing. So I'm gonna put a link down below to my eBay program. Uh, now it is a paid for program, uh, but you know, the amount of money that you can make from following this guide, uh, you can make that money, like the price of the pro program, you can make that back every single day if, if you follow this guide. So, you know, and there's also a 30 day money back guarantee. So you're free to try it out. You can follow as much of the program as you want. It's all in video format. Uh, so it's easy to follow video format. And then underneath each video, there's some bullet points where I summarize each video. So you can always go back in in, uh, in future and you can come back and you can look at all the bullet points. So you, so you haven't got to rewatch all the videos. So it's, it's laid out in an easy step-by-step -step guide, taking you right from a complete novice, complete beginner, never having sold online before, teaching you how to open your store, how to make the listings, how to do the photos, how to find items, where to get items from, how to get the best prices, how to sell your item in a way that you're gonna make the most profits, how to deal with customers, how to do your shipping, uh, and, and a whole load more stuff. It's too much to go in on this video. Uh, but I've had many good results. I've got many students in on, this, in on this program now that are making thousands every single month. And, um, you know, you've got the opportunity here where you can just try it out. Try it out for 30 days and see if you like it. If it's not for you, then fine. Ask for a refund, you'll get your money back. It's simple to get the refund. Just hit me up one email. You'll be getting an email when you sign up. Just reply to that email. Say, Kev, I want a refund. It's not for me. I don't want a big essay. I don't want a big exclamation to say, Kev, it's not for me. I want a refund. And I won't ask you any questions. I'll hit the refund button and you'll get the money back straight into your bank. It's as simple as that. So you've got nothing to lose. Uh, so that is it for this video, guys. I mean, build yourself that better future. That better future is out there. You know, no matter what your hopes and dreams are, you know, be it Lamborghinis, fast cars, big houses, you want to go on more holidays, you want the freedom to work for yourself from the comfort of your own home. Everybody's got different hopes and dreams. But working for yourself and especially selling on eBay for a beginner like, is the best way that I have found to get to your dreams in life. You know, the only thing stopping you from getting to your dreams is your willingness to learn and your willingness to take action. So the only person stopping you from your dreams is you. So you've got to realize whatever you want in this world is out there. You just got to grab it with both hands and go for it. Uh, you know, what's the alternative? Keep flipping burgers, digging ditches, keep regretting, thinking oh, I wish I would have done it. So, you know, the ball's in your court, guys. The better life is out there, it is in your hands. So I will see you in on the program or of course, you don't have to get in on the program, you know, you can continue just watching these videos and get free advice that way. But if you want the full blueprint, you want all the info, you want it all in depth, you want the exact strategy that I use and that I've talked to all of my other students, then that is only going to be found in the program. So I will see you very soon.